Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Simple Commuter Pack, which is a sleek 20 liter tech and everyday carry bag. I really enjoyed using the company's travel and weekender backpacks a while back, so I was very excited when the Commuter Pack was announced with the smaller everyday carry size. It also had an updated layout, updated aesthetic, and so it seemed like something that was gonna offer a very interesting alternative to some of the current favorite EDC bags in the market. Simple has also expanded their product line to include some compressible pack and keeps to pair with bags like the commuter pack. So really excited to have a chance to get hands on with these over the past couple of weeks. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it's been like to use them. I'll show you how I've loaded them out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how they compare to some of the other similar items that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, to me the bag is a pretty sleek but still adventurous appearance which seems to be very much in line with the vibe that Simple is going for. So it doesn't have an overwhelming amount of attachment points or zippers or pockets that would make it feel super technical and outdoorsy, but it does have the materials that still make it feel like it's gonna hold up well in a lot of different environments. And it's an appearance that I think will still work well in a more professional setting. It's gonna be great for exploring a city, traveling, or for taking it into the outdoors. As far as the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. This exterior fabric is a recycled 420D Recore nylon that feels like it's gonna be able to hold up well to rougher usage and also offer plenty of weather resistance. In addition to the material, the bag has TPU laminate and polycarbonate coating, so it feels like it's gonna be able to take on the elements very, very effectively. The fabric is a little bit on the shinier side, which might not be for everybody. If you prefer a more matte appearance, that'll be something to keep in mind. And sometimes this type of fabric can tend to show scuffs and scratches a little bit, but haven't noticed anything so far. It feels pretty easy to clean. And then beyond that, you have Duraflex hardware around the bag, as well as some really nice aqua guarded YKK zippers. Continuing along the exterior, on the front of the bag, you have the Simple Studios branding along with the latitude and longitude coordinates. I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me, but it feels like it's a little less prominent here. Maybe like the font is not quite as white or high contrast against the black background. It's still, you know, front and center, but it's fairly small. It's down near the bottom, so it doesn't really bother me too much. And then at the top of the bag, you have a really well padded, comfortable handle. It's got this almost gel-like material here. Nice amount of distance here to make it easy to grab the bag when you need to. You have a similar handle on the side. This one doesn't have quite the same level of padding. It doesn't have that same kind of gel-like material, but still feels really durable, comfortable, and you have a few attachment points here that'll be great for clipping on additional accessories with a carabiner. This is probably where I would hang my hero clip or clip on some hand sanitizer. And then the last thing I'll mention while we're talking about the exterior is that the bag manages to stand up pretty well on its own. It does tend to lean forward a little bit, but because this fabric holds its shape pretty well when everything is evenly distributed, I found that I was able to consistently place it down next to me and access the pockets when I needed to. Continuing with the capacity, the bag comes in at about 20 liters, which is a really great daily bag size in my opinion. It felt a little more compact than some of the other 20 liter bags that I've used, and that may be because the space is distributed among a lot of different compartments, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Regardless, it still felt like I was able to hold pretty much all the items that I would normally carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis, and I like that even when the bag is a little bit more packed out, it maintains a pretty slim silhouette, and it hugs my back nicely, which makes it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit, and carrying onto pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the harness system, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a really nice soft padding. Reminds me a little bit of air straps on the inside. You have this breathable mesh to help prevent moisture from building up. The straps also have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. Here you also have a few attachment points that you can use to maybe hang your sunglasses or clip on a light. You also have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. It has this magnetic buckle, which I'm always a fan of, making it very easy to release this quickly. And then at the bottom with the straps, you do have some strap management, which I know some people really like. And then moving into the back paneling, this has also been pretty comfortable. You have this fairly rigid EVA foam padding that's well distributed throughout the back. It offers a nice amount of support. It's not as soft as I would typically like to see 
in a back panel, I would have preferred to have had the same sort of padding that's on the shoulder straps here on the back. Regardless, the bag has still felt comfortable and then you have some elevation here to create these air channels to provide you with airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. And then I also like that there is this nice luggage pasture that's gonna allow you to rest this on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a nice variety of pockets all throughout. Starting off on the front, you have a really great quick access pocket with a vertical zipper. So this is gonna be the type of pocket that you can swing the bag around and reach in and grab something without having to take it all the way off. And I really like the zipper garage that it has here. So in addition to the well-protected zipper, there's no little area at the top for water to sneak in. And then the implementation here is really great as far as providing an impressive amount of volume. These front zippered pockets can sometimes get a little tight, making them tough to use, but that is not the case here. I was really surprised how I just kept putting items in and they seem to fit comfortably, even though this top quick access area that we'll take a look at in a second. It does start to eat into this compartment, but you know, so far it still was able to hold more than enough even when this area was a little more packed out. So diving into what I have here, just a sunglasses case floating there on its own. I have my GoPro. I was also able to fit my alpaca admin pouch. And then I have USB-C hub that I like to carry with me to charge my laptop my tablet and all my devices. And then a cool thing in this area is there's also a few slip pockets on the back wall that are oriented to allow you to easily grab the items that are stored in there. So this is an excellent touch because sometimes these compartments that are a little bit taller, everything just slides down toward the bottom. And so I'm always a fan of having just a couple of simple slip pockets like these to be able to reach some of the items that you're gonna be accessing regularly. This one here on the bottom is slightly bigger and I was able to store my ghost well pouch Great spot though for cables, maybe your phone. And then I have the cable and the other one that goes with the USB-C hub just to you know store a few items in there. It's this elastic, nice material. And then if you don't wanna use them, they just stay out of the way. On top of that, you have another zippered pocket that has a lot of built-in organization. This is what they call their caddy and it's pretty much a built-in tech pouch. And I think some people are really gonna like this or really not like it depending on your organizational preferences. I think that it's a really interesting idea. I, of course, am someone who packs with a lot of pouches. And so a lot of these types of items would normally be in pouches. This has a little bit more of an opinion on how you can potentially organize your stuff. And I think that it's well done here, particularly if you don't want to have an extra pouch. It's really cool that this offers a lot of useful organization. So starting off on the back here, you have this soft lined area that also has some padding. This sleeve here is a little bit thicker than your standard slip pocket. It's also got this magnet that closes down to secure it. At the moment, I just have my magic mouse in here, but this definitely feels like something that is meant to hold your phone maybe, or you could even slide in a smaller tablet, although that might get impeded with the magnet, but still just a really nice soft lining here. And then you have another large section that is divided with this zippered pocket. And this isn't fixed to the bottom, so it can kind of slide to accommodate, you know, whatever you want to store. If you want to have a little bit more space on this side, if you want to have a little bit more space on this side. So pretty cool idea there. So a couple of slip pockets here that have this nice elastic material, perfect for something like AirPods. I also have a retractable USB-C cable here because wires are tough and definitely love solutions like this to help manage that. So good, you know, kind of pocketing here. You have the zipper pocket in the middle. Great for something like this, which are an extra pair of wired headphones. Not retractable, unfortunately, but this will help kind of tame the chaos. Great for other small items that you don't want getting lost. Then you have a section here that could be for something larger, a laptop charger, something like that. Then you have a couple of larger slip pockets on the front. I love that these have this really great feeling mesh to give you some flexibility with what you can store. I have here USB-C cable for my phone and my tablet. And then on the other one, I have this really cool headlamp from Sandmark, which uh, I featured in a video pretty recently. Such a cool solution. You can take the headband off, it's magnetic, so you can check that out in the video. I'll link to it in the description below. And then the last thing you have here is a little place for your keychain. I have a carabiner attached to it. But one of the things I like about this is that you can actually detach it. It has a little magnetic fob. So you can keep this in your pocket. It's not super bulky. And then if you wanna put it into your bag, you can attach it. So I actually really like these solutions where it's something you can detach that I don't have to actually worry about taking something 
off the, the key ring itself. Um, so, you know, pretty cool idea there. And in general, you know, if you can adapt your, you know, items that you need to pack to this method of organization, this is gonna be a really effective layout, but it can take a little bit of time to get used to and it might not be for everybody. And then on one side of the bag, you have a taller zippered pocket that is meant to work as a water bottle area. So really nice zipper here. Again, zipper garage, great protection. I was able to squeeze in my 20 ounce water bottle. This is the one that I typically have with me, but it does take up space from the main area. So you'll have to keep that in mind as you're packing everything out. Still great that there is a dedicated water bottle area so that I could access this without having to open up the main area. And because it's zippered, you could also use it to store other items, which is great. That's why I like these zipper pockets. I could put in pouches, uh, an umbrella, and some of my chargers that don't fit on the inside. Then you have this material here, which is kind of like this meshy material. It's fairly elastic. And again, it just pokes into the main area. So you'll have to keep that in mind if you want to try to squeeze in a larger water bottle. But for me, 20 ounces was about as large as I felt comfortable putting in there. And then on the other side of the bag, you have a dedicated laptop compartment. It's the same side as the handle, which I really like as it is oriented in the same direction as the luggage passenger. So you can rest this on your suitcase, you can hold it like a briefcase, and you can access your device when you need to. Again, well-protected zipper. One of the unique aspects with this one, however, is that it has this uh, little bit of theft deterrent. So you can put the little Hypalon zipper pull through the loop, pull it all the way up, and then it becomes trickier for somebody to run by, open your device without, you know, it really kind of notifying you, getting your attention. So great to see that incorporated there. And then you have pretty large opening here with the zipper so that you can access your device. This should be able to hold up to a 15 or 16 inch MacBook Pro. Currently what I have here is a 14 inch MacBook, but you can see there's some leftover space here at the top and you have a really nice soft lining on both sides of the compartment to help prevent against scratching good padding on the sides as well the one thing to call out is that there isn't really a false bottom which is unfortunate i always prefer to have that as you know when you're dropping your laptop in or placing your bag down a little bit harder it does feel like there is a chance that there's going to be some contact there the bottom does have some padding and you do have the soft lining on the bottom as well. So you have a little bit of protection, but you know, it's just not gonna be quite the same as when the bottom is pulled up a little bit. So that would be great to see in a future iteration of the bag. So pulling my device out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. It comes up a decent amount. And so if you happen to have a thicker device or you wanna use a case with your laptop, this should be able to accommodate that. And although I do wish that it had the false bottom with the lining that's included here and the padding, it still feels like my device is gonna be pretty well protected while I'm on the go. And then moving into the main compartment, this does have a full clamshell style opening so you can open it flat and you'll easily be able to pack everything out, which I'm always a big fan of. And so 20 liters of space, and this was able to accommodate my modular style of packing pretty well. As you can see here, I have most of my typical items here in a little bit of space where I could have possibly placed a jacket or another smaller pouch if I had wanted to. Again, even though it has 20 liters, there's so much distributed amongst the different compartments of the bag. It just felt a little tighter than some of the other 20 liter bags that I've used. Uh, and so diving into what I have here at the moment, my Beat Studio wireless headphones, I have the Evergood Civic Access pouch, one liter. I have the Wax Canvas pouch from Lockby that I've been using a lot as of late. And then I also have the Evergood Civic Access pouch, two liters. And so those all fit in there pretty comfortably. And on the back, you have you know some built-in organization. So a slip pocket here, which is gonna be great maybe for separating out some documents, or if you're using this as a gym or travel bag, you can separate out some clothes, maybe tuck your shoes in here, and then here on the side, you can get a sense of the water bottle pocket that I was mentioning earlier. So with the water bottle on the inside, you can see that it pokes in about this much. So you still have plenty of space, but you know, depending on when you place the water bottle or your items on the inside, you might feel things just kind of pressing up against it. And then at the top here, you have another set of slip pockets, which work really nicely. I really like the material that Simple has used throughout the bag for these. It's just really soft, feels very high quality, elastic. And here I have my laptop charging cable, as well as the charging block. And those fit there very easily in the middle. You have a slightly smaller one, which is gonna be great for multi-tool. I have a little pocket knife here, but great for a flashlight or a marker. And then you have 
a dedicated spot for your air tag at the top. And with this layout here, this is definitely something that I could see myself using for minimal travel. I would be able to place my compressible packing cube, dot kit, and extra pair of shoes and use it for a longer weekend trip. But one of the cool things is that Simple has not only released the commuter backpack, but also an excellent set of compression packing cubes. And so in that footage, although I'm using my Peak Design cubes, just so that you can kind of compare across bags, I was actually really impressed with the packing cubes that Simple sent over for me to test out. So they have the two sizes here. On the exterior, they have a quick access pocket for anything else that you wanna store along with your accessories. And then, you know, they have this really nice kind of ripstop fabric. And then you have the pretty standard clamshell opening, so they open flat. And one of the cool things about these is that they are compression cubes, so they have a zipper that will allow you to expand it out so that you can load these up with all of your clothes if you're gonna be traveling, and then compress everything down tightly, and you can tuck these into either the commuter backpack or simple travel bags. We've looked at those on the channel as well. Really awesome alternatives, and these are gonna be some excellent accessories to pair with them. I'm a big fan of this style of packing cube. This style is what I would typically go to. And so if you want something durable that's gonna compress and pair well with Simple's ecosystem of bags, these will be excellent to check out. And then coming over to the other side of the main compartment, there's a little bit more organization on the lid. You have one kind of soft elastic compartment here. This will be the perfect spot for your phone if you wanna store it. At the moment, I have another Magic Mouse in here just to kind of showcase the size and because of this material that it offers, it just feels super nice. At the bottom, you have a zippered elastic compartment. I didn't really use this for anything because of all the pouches and items that I had on the bottom of the bag. I just didn't want things pressing up. And then there is also one additional zippered pocket here. Again, nice mesh. At the moment, the only thing I have here is a Field Notes notebook. It fit in there easily, but another great spot for tech items, smaller things that you don't want getting lost. And then one last note here at the top is that there is kind of a rigidity that can make it a little bit tough to pack if you have anything bulky at the top of the bag. This rigidity, I believe, is you know to kind of pair with this padded compartment here, which is nice. You have that protection, but sometimes when I would place my headphones or you know one of those bigger solid items here at the top, it could just feel tighter than I tend to like. So just something to keep in mind again with how you're packing, not necessarily a con. But in general, I really like the layout of this main compartment and you know, just how everything is thought out throughout the rest of the bag. Really interesting design, very sleek look. And if you're looking for a bag that's gonna offer a ton of weather resistance, that's gonna be comfortable and that's gonna keep all of your EDC accessories organized, and this is gonna be a really interesting option to take a look at. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Simple Commuter Pack over the past couple of weeks. This is gonna be available on the company site for around $220, so definitely an investment. It does, however, feel like you get a lot of value for that price point as far as the features and the build quality, and it's also gonna compare well against some of the other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the Air City Pack Pro, which has been one of my favorite tech and everyday carry bags of the past couple of years. It was recently released in Ultra Fabric, but it's also available in Ballistic Nylon, X-Pack, it's got a really sleek, modern aesthetic, very durable, super comfortable harness system. I'm always a big fan of the way that Air does their harnesses. And then beyond that, it's just got a really functional layout, clamshell style opening, really good pocketing, excellent laptop protection. Like this one, it has a clamshell style opening. It's gonna be maybe slightly bigger than this. So if you want something that's gonna offer a similar sort of vibe and layout, but that's gonna give you some extra capacity and a little bit of a different harness system, then that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. Another bag this made me think of is the Bellroy Venture Ready Pack, which is a bag that I've come back to a lot over the past year. I really love the aesthetic of that bag. It's fairly minimal, but it still has kind of a rugged, adventurous vibe, which I really like. It's got an excellent functional layout, external water bottle pocket, some quick access pockets. I really like the top quick access area. Like this one, it has some built-in organization, but not quite as much. So the layout on that has just been really interesting to use. Got a comfortable harness system, a well-padded and suspended laptop sleeve. That one doesn't have the dedicated laptop compartment like this one here. So depending on your preferences and what you're looking for, that could be a pro or a con. Regardless, it feels like your laptop is safe, even if it's not quite as easy to access. And then it's got the clamshell style opening. 
and you know it's just a really solid bag it's offered in a 20 liter size now it's been upgraded so it includes a luggage pass-through which the version that i originally tested out did not include there's also the venture travel pack coming in at 26 liters that has a really interesting weather resistant fabric and so just a lot of great options in the venture lineup and if you're looking for something that has you know a very kind of unique aesthetic that's going to work well in a lot of different environments and that's going to be an excellent option to consider and then the last option that I'll mention here is the Evergood CTB26, which I've talked about so many times on the channel. Absolutely love the functionality and the versatility of that bag. The 26 liter size works for minimal travel. I can carry it onto a flight, can work as an EDC bag. It might feel a little bit bulky and large for everyday carry for some people, which is why I was very excited when the CTB20 was announced. So all the same functionality in a smaller size. I haven't had a chance to test that out, but I'm going to be trying to get that on the channel here in the future, but regardless, the layout on the CTB26 is still one of my favorites as far as the quick access pockets that it offers, the dual external water bottle pockets, the laptop compartments while padded, suspended, the luggage pass-through implementation is great, Evergoods' is harness system, it's really unique and you know it fits my body type very well. And so, you know, it just has a lot of great things going for it, and if you're looking for a really functional all-purpose bag and Evergoods' harnesses you know, work well for you, and that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. With that being said, the Simple Commuter Pack holds up really well against all those options and is a very exciting new addition to the tech and everyday carry space. I think this is gonna be a really popular option. I'm excited to have a chance to share it out. And you know, if you're looking for a highly weather resistant, sleek bag that's gonna offer plenty of organization and protection for your tech, this is gonna be an excellent option to keep in mind. And I'm curious to hear what you all think of the Simple Commuter Pack and how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there's any similar bags that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.